Hello and welcome back to the series. In the comments to the previous video, you asked me to try to install Windows 8.1 on a real modern PC. Is it possible? Let's find out. Windows 8.1 was released in 2013. It was 11 years ago. Windows 8.1 support ended on January 10, 2023. So will it work on a real modern PC? Let's find out. We have Intel i9, 4900K, Asus Z790H motherboard, NVIDIA RTX 4070, 32GB of DDR5 memory, and PCI Express 4.0 NVMe SSD with 2TB of capacity. Ok, now we must select our WAN toy with Windows 8.1 ISO. Let's set it begins. Great, it loaded. Next, install now. Selecting 8.1 Pro. Accept the agreement, custom install, and it sees all disks, which isn't surprising, of course, because this is 2023 Windows 8.1 ISO. First, all set and NVMe drivers. I will install Windows 8.1 on NVMe drive. Click next, and the setup begins. Okay, great, it was loaded successfully. We need to type a name. Next, let's use Express Settings. Username again. And we did it, Windows 8.1 was successfully installed on a real modern PC. And go on next, let's check system properties. And we have 4900K, and Windows 8 detects it like two processors. We have 32GB of RAM, all is ok here. Ok, let's go ahead. What about drivers? I was surprised, but we have some problems with the drivers. I'm surprised because Windows 8.1 doesn't seem old, right? And I don't remember any case where I have any trouble with drivers in Windows 8. I mean, almost in any cases, Windows 10 drivers were compatible with Windows 8. But now we are in trouble. Luckily, the chipset drivers were installed successfully. But anyway, we have unknown devices in Device Manager. Also, the internet drivers were installed correctly. It's all because I was using this Intel driver for Windows 7, which of course doesn't exist on the official Intel site. I found it on Arkov site. I was using the same driver when I was trying to install Windows 7 on this PC. If you haven't watched this video yet, all the links will be in the description. The main problem is our RTX 4070 doesn't have any drivers for Windows 8. It has drivers only for Windows 10 and 11. Also, I've tried to use Intel Integrity Graphics, but it doesn't have any drivers for Windows 8 either. And something strange has happened. This artifact appears on my screen. I don't know what it was, but it happened after turning on Intel Integrated Graphics. I think I should reboot my PC. And yes, it worked. So the only way to run any games here is to use a GPU card that you already know, GTX 1080, which as you can see has Windows 8 drivers. But as you can see, it was not so easy to install it. It says our GPU driver is signed incorrectly or damaged. So, yes, we have troubles even if we want to use an old GPU card. God damn it. This is worse than I expected. So what we can do about it? Luckily, there is a solution. We should use these virtual GPU drivers. Or below. One of our subscribers gave us this solution. So please subscribe to his channel. By the way, he films videos about Windows. All links will be in the description. And as you can see, it works perfectly. Now we can run the games. I forgot to say, the other drivers were installed successfully either. We have a sound. That's great. Let's go ahead, let's open CPU-Z. And we have only 800 MHz. What does that mean? It's very strange. Maybe it works incorrectly because of chipset drivers? I don't know. It's strange because 5 minutes ago it was ok. It showed 5.7 GHz. Go next, let's check mainboard panel. It shows PCI Express 3.0 because we have GTX 1080. It has PCI Express 3.0 version. Go to memory panel. It's strange, but it shows only 3000 MHz. But our XMP profile is enabled and we should have 6000 MHz. Go next, graphics panel, nothing to see here. Bench panel, let's try to bench our CPU. And let's compare the score with Windows 11. What about performance? In fact, all is working very fast. I don't see any issues. But definitely the performance is reduced because we have low frequency on our CPU and on our memory. The internet is working well, even Google Chrome is supported. That's how Windows Start button looks. 
By the way, did you know Windows 8 one of the fastest operating systems from Microsoft? Windows 8 boots incredibly fast. If you will compare the boot speed of Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 and Windows 11, Windows 8 will be the fastest. The only negative is that Windows 8 was created for touchscreen devices. Looks like Microsoft forgot that most of Windows users using desktop PCs. And according to the latest news, Microsoft wants to remove this wonderful control panel. I think definitely the OG control panel is more convenient than the new one. Ok, let's go ahead, let's test the games. Starting from Fortnite. And the error message appears. When the stand on newer is required, please upgrade your OS. Unfortunately, we can't run Fortnite in Windows 8. Ok, let's go ahead, let's try to run the Callisto protocol. And nothing happens. Ok, go next, let's try to run Dead Space Remake. Will it work? And it fails again. Oh my god. Go next, let's try to run Counter-Strike 2. This game should work. And it fails. Seriously? We can't even run Counter-Strike 2. Damn. Ok, then let's try to run Half-Life. It definitely should work. Yes, of course. It works well, but we have only 60 FPS. It lagged by some unknown reason. Unfortunately, we can run modern games in Windows 8. Also, there is a message in Epic Games Launcher. Soon future versions of the launcher will require Windows 10 on newer. It means very soon Epic's Game Launcher won't work in Windows 8. Of course, I want to try to run GTA 5, and I think it should work. But anyway, Epic's Games Launcher soon will be unavailable in Windows 8. So I don't see any sense to do this. So is it possible to install Windows 8 on a real modern PC? The answer is yes, but you won't be able to run any modern games in this operating system. The time flies and today Windows 8 is an old operating unsupported system. Leave in the comment section what the next operating system you want me to install. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. See you later. Bye.